Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right guys, so we've gone through and done our crops. Let's do one more thing. Let's go and actually fix distortion. So I'm gonna load up this exercise file 1-1. One -one. We're gonna double click on it, hit D to drop into, we could just hit D to go into our develop module. But I took one extra step. I'm gonna hit F twice to go full screen, give us a little more real estate. And remember when we talked about, we did that minor crop and we talked about that bend in the horizon line is actually now being caused by distortion. And that's just because of basically the lens type that we're using as well as the position of where we are in relation to what we're shooting. So what we're gonna do is go down to our lens corrections panel. And I like to do my corrections manually actually. Profile corrections, when you have them enabled, they typically do an okay job, but I don't know. I'm kind of a perfectionist and I like to have control over exactly the way I want it. So I wanna to go to manual and then what we're gonna do is dial in a little bit of distortion correction and we're just gonna take it up. We notice that if we take it down actually, then we get this kind of bulbous look to it, which makes it look more like a fisheye. We wanna actually bend that line backwards. So we're gonna go up. So we're gonna go up to about, let's see, looks like at about 10, it matches my, you can see my grid lines pretty perfectly. So we're gonna take it up to 10 and check this out. On the edges now, I have this gray effect, which we talked about a little bit a while back when, when you do adjustments on like distortion and stuff like that, you need to constrain the crop, otherwise you're gonna be showing these gray areas when you export the image on the left, right sides, and top and bottom. So we're gonna hit constrain crop, just to constrain that, and now we have a nice straight horizon line. So here's that uh, look before, and here it is after. So I'm just hitting backslash to check out the before. Let's save this now as a new snapshot, and we're gonna say distortion corrected. Okay, let's go through, I'm gonna hit G to go back to my grid view and let's see if there's any other images that I notice that distortion effect. There is this image, which we talked about, also had a little bit of distortion because it's shot on an iPhone. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna hit D. Let's go to our lens corrections. We're gonna pull it up just a little bit. And you can also see it actually distorted her head a little bit um, because her head's near the edge of the frame and an iPhone, because it's a wide angle lens, it's gonna create a little bit of distortion. So at plus five, that looks pretty close to about right. I'm gonna just twist a tiny bit on the crop and that looks pretty good right there. And then we're gonna constrain the crop so we don't see those gray edges. Now I'm gonna save this as a new snapshot. We're gonna save it as 02, distortion corrected. And I'm actually recording this tutorial after I did the color corrected version of this image. So you guys shouldn't see this, but I'm just gonna rename this to uh, 03 color corrected so it comes after in the process. All right guys, so here's our distortion corrected version for that one. Here's the before by hitting backslash. Here's the after. Okay, so we straighten out that line nicely. Let's see if there's any other images we wanna do. I'm gonna hit G to go back to grid view again. Check out any other images. Um, this one could do some distortion adjustments. Let's check that one out. So I'm gonna hit D to go back into my develop module. And uh, what we wanna do is just kind of straighten up. See how these, these lines on the amphitheater are bending? We wanna bend them back straight. And then there's also a little bit of vertical distortion that we, where we can see basically uh, what is it called? Basically where we can see like these concentric lines kind of angling up and away towards uh, the sky. So we wanna kind of fix that too. So let's go down to the distortion. Let's correct some of the distortion. If we go up, uh, it's going to pull it back in. And so we kind of straighten out those edges. You can see it kind of straightening out on this side. And notice how much of our image we're gonna be losing because when we crop in, we're cropping in quite a bit of the edge. I'm also going to pull this down so that we bring back our vertical distortion. So the vertical distortion is showing these converging lines kind of meeting together at a point. We wanna kind of fix that. Now, if we go too far on this uh, distortion, it's gonna look kind of funky. So we're gonna leave it at plus 20 and then negative 10. Uh, there's not really any horizontal or rotation or scale that needs to be adjusted. I'm gonna leave it right there. And that's pretty good considering where we came from. So we came from this, which is really kind of bulbous and we kind of corrected to get this. Now, you might wanna try using the profile correction on an image like this, and it probably will do a pretty decent job. We'll enable it, but sometimes what happens with profile corrections, it can stretch edges too much. So that's kinda of why I, I prefer to go manual, but let's check it out. The profile correction basically made the distortion, made the lines perfect, but check out what happens to the edge of this image. It just completely stretches out these edges. And so that's kinda of why we don't like to use this profile correction and we definitely don't enable it automatically in like our settings and stuff because the majority of the time it, it doesn't give us exactly what we want. So I'm gonna turn that off again, go back to manual. I'm just gonna leave it where we had it. We still have a little bit of distortion, but I'm okay with that. We've corrected quite a bit of it. We brought it from this to this, which looks a lot better already and I'm good with that. 
So let's move on. We're going to save this as a new snapshot, and we're going to call this distortion corrected. And let's go hit G to go back to our grid view and see if there's any other images that we want to correct. This one has a little bit of distortion, but I think it's kind of cool. It's kind of part of the effect. Um, yeah, let's, well, we'll fix that anyway. We'll hit D to jump in here. Let's, uh, I don't want to remove all of it because I do kind of like kind of that bulby look. So uh, let's just remove part of that distortion and just a little bit of the vertical distortion. So we'll go plus 10, negative 10. We're going to constrain the crop so we don't see the edges. And see, I, I get too much of that bottom edge knocked off. I don't like that. Let's uh, take the vertical back and let's bring back our crop. Let's fix our crop again. So I'm just going to hit Alt Control R to reset the crop or com uh, Option Command R on a Mac. We're going to go down and uh, let's see. Let's pull back the uh, distortion just a tiny bit. Okay. And then we're really not doing that much to this. We're just making a minor, minor adjustment. And pull it to right there. So we're going to go plus five, negative five, just a minor adjustment, then hit constrain. Okay, that's better. We can see a little bit more of that bottom part of this image. So that looks fine right there. Um, again, distortion is not always a bad thing. Like in this image, it's something that I kind of like. It adds to an effect. But you want to be able to control it and use it where you want. So let's add this to our snapshots. Distortion corrected. And let's go on. I'm going to hit G to go back to my grid view. Let's see if there's anything else that we want to correct. It looks like most everything else is OK. This image was intentionally shot low. I shot this low because I wanted to have this kind of like really powerful stance with these girls. They wanted to mimic the whole bridesmaid kind of cover look. So I shot it low because it makes them look kind of towering, like they're commanding the scene. And that's an effect that you use, uh, that we use a lot when we want to kind of get that look off of people. So if I correct that, it's not going to have that same effect. So we don't want to correct the distortion in that image. I'm going to hit G to go back. Let's check out this one, make sure there's no distortion. I don't see any distortion actually in this. It needs to be corrected. And we're good, guys. All right, guys, so great job. We've corrected the distortion on our images, and we're ready to move on to the next tutorial.